talk about how do we change the culture for the future? How do we, you know, raise the bar? I, I definitely think it starts with the education system. No, not necessarily trying to get us better scores on our standardized testing so we can compare better to other nations. But let's let's talk about like the the structure itself and what is taught at different levels of the school system. I would think that that was that would be the driving force for change. It's something again, kind of like the infrastructure, uh, yeah, public transportation kind of something that's kind of black and white that we can really see some results from and very attainable definitely starts with education but hearing that is so important to get your finances right yeah dude early i was i was shocked i was i was speechless i was like and she's like are you mad i'm not mad no i see i even want to support her I like know. what are I you want- talking about am i mad but I think this yeah. came down to um, so when I was living with my mom right before uh, she kicked me out, her <laughs> other stories about that. But I was such a, a bad child. She used to when I got my job, she charged me rent because she need. She said you need to learn responsibility in paying a bill. So I didn't pay for a cell phone, and she just charged me rent. It was like a hundred bucks a month or whatever. So that whole time I was just so just pissed off. I was like fuck, I can't do this because I have to pay rent and whatever. And you know I. I develop that like that habit of i have i owe someone money so i have to be responsible or she's gonna kick me out or whatever she told me that straight up when she uh when i moved out because my mom explained it to me (laughs) years later that she didn't kick me out i moved out she gave all that money back it was just a she just kept everything and she's like i just wanted to show you the responsibility of paying your bills on time and this is your reward for that. Sure, that doesn't happen in the life, like in our life. You get a good credit score, right? So that's like kind of equivalent, you know, if you you can relate to that. But uh, I thought that was really cool. And I think my sister's t- doing something like that with her, where like if she buys like a toy, she's in debt to my sister. So she has to like clean her room, do a dish, and all this. So, like it's like incremental cents values, like 10 cents for this, 10 <laughs> cents for crazy. that. It'd be crazy. I'm trying to think of it, but like using some sort of like gift card as like a fake credit card and like making her and like <laughs> racking up the total, but then also being like, oh yeah, you want that toy? You know? And then like let them get a few toys. But then we just start teaching them the concept of interest. Oh, right? yeah, and how man. much more work it's going to take to earn those toys. Dude, I, I'm really, let me talk to you about interest, right? This guy at TGPS. This is a class I'm attending right now. I'm not going to go into it. It's not, not important right now. But he was bitching that he had so much debt in his interest rate. He only had like $15,000 in debt, which is not a lot. Not a lot at all. Easy day. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, man, I just need five grand from somebody because my interest rate is like 15 point something percent. It was like 16 percent. Huh? No, I, just, I hear about I hear that like same guy all the time. Like I was hearing the same thing from other people and they're like, oh, I have no money in my bank account, blah, blah, blah. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to listen to the rest of the podcast, make sure you follow us on Anchor as well as Spotify. The links are in the description below. Till next time, this is the K&J Podcast.